Hello, this is a video on moving files in EpiInfo. So you've already gone in, you've created a project file, and you have this output saved somewhere along that path. We recommend using the original path, which will always end in EpiInfo 7, projects, and then a folder with your project name followed by the two icons. You'll see that whenever you save, you don't see something that says EpiInfo. You see a project file and an access file. It's really important that the two of them stay together. They're like best friends, and if you separate them, bad things happen. So it could be really common to say, hey, project file, that's what I want. Drag it over and go into your Epi program and say, I'm going to open that file so I can enter some data. Sounds good. Open form. I'll go to my desktop. And hey, there's my PRJ. I'll select it and hit open. Ugh! I don't think you can hear the noise, but I heard this wonderful, like, negative sound that says it's not going to allow me to open it. Puzzling, but now I remember, wait, it's because it doesn't have the access file. So this actually stores the data and this reads it. Now, if I go back into Epi, I say I want to enter the data, and I go back to my desktop to pull it up, I see the project file, I don't see the access file, but I sec select OK, sure enough, there's my form, and here is my database, and I can see my project form. So what I really recommend to folks is not to do what I just did, but to always move the two of them together. You'll go If you go back one folder, you can see that it will always be saved into a new project folder. I can either copy and paste using this dropdown, or I don't need to keep it here, I can just drag that whole folder out to my desktop so that's in an easier place for me to access. Um, now I know that if I'm pulling it in, when I go to my desktop, I'm just going to have to look for one folder here, desktop, and there it is, new project folder. I only see that one file, but I know in my head that that Excel file is there because it allowed me to open my form. Good. This also applies if you are saving something on, we'll say, new folder. Oops. Say I was going to save something on a jump drive, which I happen to have a root movable disk in right here. If I wanted to move this, I could go ahead and drag that whole folder onto my jump drive. And again, I can see both items. The only place this gets tricky is if I want to email. I can't email the project and the Excel file together, and I can't go ahead and put in um, a whole folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two items, click on one, hold down shift and my down arrow, select both, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to hit send to compress zip folder. So now I have what I call a zip file. If I open it up, I can see both files in there. If I'm composing this email, I can literally drag my zip file over and my new project is there. And now when I send this email, both, both of these files are going to send together and the person opening them can use them. Now the only bad thing about this, say I put this on my desktop and say that this is back over here. So all I have is this new project zip file. If I want to enter data, I go in to open it, I look on my desktop where it should be, do you see that zip file? Not there. So in order for me to see something, it has to be outside of a zip file, which again can be kind of confusing. So only using the zip files if you're emailing, no big deal, I can just open them, and go ahead and move the two of them out onto my desktop. There's one and there's two. Or I could even go new folder, open that up. I'm going to put my new project file in here and I'm going to put that there. That looks good. So now I've got both of the things in one folder under new folder. So you'll see when I come to enter data, I hit open form. I'm on my desktop. 
I see the new project file, but I know it's in my new folder. That's where it's got both the access files and I can open. So just to review, that is how we move project files. We always want to move the two of them together. The best way to do it is to move it in one nice folder. You may have to use a zip file if you're emailing, but then you're always going to have to remove those files outside of the zip file um, by creating a new folder and moving them together. Thank you.